keep thinking how very different I am. All the little stages in my life, I remember, you know, like houses I lived in and the lifestyle, my beliefs at the time, conversations we had. And everything up until now where, like, my beliefs are so far, so far beyond any of those lives, so far beyond. It's really difficult to even entertain that perception in any way, any of those old perceptions. I think it's, I really think it's just that unique, you know, spent my entire life dying, I had their final death kind of thing, that surrender, went through a life review while still being alive, you know, I think a lot of people go through their life review minutes before they're dead and because I've had my life review earlier and had a lot of like I wish I had of I could have maybe I could have made a difference maybe I didn't need to hold on to the past in a negative way when I went through my life review it was full of regret of what I didn't allow myself to do because of what I thought we had to do you know, I felt trapped by society in a way of not being able to speak my truth and living a life that didn't make sense to me. It really didn't make sense to me. A lot of things in this world did not make sense to me. But I was doing it. I was part of it. I was another zombie. And I honestly, when I look back at some of the, like even today when I was looking back at some of those um, lives that I've lived <laughs> in this life, I really wasn't conscious of being conscious and now that I am conscious of being conscious I have this um, I really get gung-ho about wanting to do what I can before I die versus you know coming up against brick walls where I can't and like going shit you know this is just even when you have the will even when you let your ego go even when you really decide to not let other people tell you who you are I still feel trapped I meet others that also feel the same way but we're so different because of our different experiences that I haven't been able to find a way to unite with like minds to be able to do the things that we are called to do and I still go through my little crises and traumas and things like that as I'm letting go of the past which make me doubt you know <laughs> it makes me doubt whether it's even worth is this real or is it um not worth doing is it just we're here we're going to keep coming against um like impossible odds there's not enough people who want the same thing to be able to have it like people are, like most of the people are happy with the way things are or they're just they're not happy but they're just going to go with along with it no matter what and yet i feel compelled to unite and collaborate with others and see what can be done. But I wonder where this comes from. Why are some of us, is this our destiny in a way? Is this, is this the key to our fulfillment in life is to do that which we would regret not doing in this lifetime? Like something about this particular time this particular life that we're having that it's so important to really like something is happening here and we're all starting to completely think differently